Good morning. It is four o'clock. We got a paver, paving machine. We're gonna pull the engine out. Downtime is the biggest thing with paving. A drop-in engine is the most cost-effective, guaranteed way to get them back up and running. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm Garth Parker, superintendent with Arc Asphalt Recycling. We're working on a pug mill mixer, we call it. It's a custom made machine used for asphalt recycling. This is a very vital piece of equipment to our operation. We're actually not working right now because this machine is down. Generally, I can keep limping through. I can rent a roller. I can get another paver. This is the only machine like it in the world. There's only one. So I can't keep working without it trying to do this as quickly as possible and get it fixed up as fast as possible. Good morning. <sighs> cool. So this is this is her. A big green bitch. That's it. It's coming out. So pretty easy one to get to. Nice one. Um, we'll take the shrouds all off and then pretty much get a straight shot at picking her out. So Okay, well, let's start draining her. Okay, Carson. So this thing unbolts here, Carson. Underneath here. Yeah. Yeah. So take off the air cleaner, take off the exhaust. We'll start with that. Then we'll take this big shroud off. It should just lift right off and there'll be this tube frame left. We can just leave that on, right? Yeah, the tube frame can probably stay on. It'll probably have to stay on because I think it goes right underneath. It's all welded here yeah. and it's attached to the gearbox and all that. I won't want to. I don't really want to be ripping all this off. I just want to take off this top shroud. Okay. So we can pick it out from there. I'm gonna put this one down here. It's easier to get up. And over this bull Where's all the wrench sets? You got them all right stashed? Why are they there? Damn, you got me. <laughs> Question everything. I'll have this thing out in no time. In a jippy. Dash 6 J, I see grab a handful. Um, zip ties and Allen's. Allen. Allen. Grab me Allen's, please. Metrics or standards? Uh, Maastricht. Red set? Or yeah. You can actually toss me those right away here. Catch them. That was a good catch. We play football. Watch, watch that you don't lose the seals. I was telling Carson that I was like, man, maybe one day when I'm like a, a big company, I got all these people working with me and I'm like the boss sitting in my office. Somebody's gonna go into the office and be like, hey, I need to order up some seals. And I'm gonna peek my head around the corner and be like, the aquarium's closed. <laughs> Still making seal jokes, like, 40 years later. Rolling around in a wheelchair in the office. I'm still banned from the zoo. Like, <laughs> rolling around. <laughs> still banned from the zoo, baby. Mm. Think we used all our Dash 6 JICs on the f***ing pumps. Oh, really? Okay, some plastic is probably good, then. Plastics? Plastic's fine. Yeah. Paper or plastic? Mmm. How go? Oh, so good. Well, should we take this top off? Uh, can you take the exhaust? Uh, you know what? Yeah, just do it from there. I was just thinking about taking the muffler off of top and then taking the shroud, but I think we can just lift it up where you're doing it. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I'm stupid. What do I know? I've been doing this for like 12 years. <clears throat> Keep going. Don't don't worry about me. Take care. Yeah. Big daddy got her done. Oh, finally. Nice. Okay, let's rip this top off. Stainless bolts. Somebody stole your tooth. What? I swear it was just there. Ah, ah, ah. Watch your 
tem guiço. Drain the coolant. That's your mission. If you here, put your hand underneath there. Dead center. Okay, move to the right. There. There. You can do it from outside. You don't have to come can in I here. Put a hose on there. Yeah, put a long guy on there. Five eight heater hose. Zip tie it to the handle. Take this bracket off back here so we can get a chain on it. And then at that point, we can start looking into the bell housing bolts. You can start taking those off too. The fan and stuff up front can start coming apart. The shroud, the big cage can come off. Yeah, just take it out there and then, and then place the fan inside. Ready for some pep and cheds? Ooh, yeah. Almost ready for a pepperoni I stick. Love pep and Chad. Pep and Chad's field mechanics f***ing dinner. Yeah. At my wedding, we got catered and uh, I had them. Uh, you had pepperoni put, sticks? Yeah, we had pep and Chad's out on the Jesus table for everybody. <laughs> no, of course not. Please let us know what flavor pep and Chad you is like for your uh, entree. <laughs> right. <laughs> I get the jalapeno. Jalapeno Jack. Jalapeno whatever. Jack pep and Chad is the or best. Cheddar pep and cheddar. With the cheddar, the spicy cheddar ones, those are good too. The beer stick. I just don't like the plain cheese ones. I've gone past that now. I want the Gucci ones. Take these belts off. Oh, oh those weren't even that tight. They're just getting strong. You're so strong, Carson. Uh... Hey, Daddy, are we working hard today? That's you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go grab some uh, big wrenches. Yeah, do it. Get away from me, you freak. I'm a freak. Freak. You got the crane set up pretty quick here. Remember, stay out of my way. Okay, bell housing bolts are all out. Yeah. All of them. Yes, Bottom sir. ones too. Yes, Sweet. Sir. Maybe we will take the cooler off first. Yeah, I think we should. Let's take the whole cooler pack off. Cam, are you actually happier working on me? No, no. definitely oh. not. No, I was just all miserable the last time we all worked together. When? Carson never shows up. Just Why were you miserable? I wasn't actually miserable. Was it's you just, miserable? There's being dinks. Don't tell him, don't answer that. Okay, he's, he, you, you were. You can let go. No, don't let go, okay? What did, yeah, I, I what did I just tell you? Good enough for now. Just got to keep it from flopping around. I don't want to break some wires off. Okay, clean up. Where did you want to lift from again? Uh, there's here. those two bolts there. Yeah, I'll just go from there on each. On both sides? You got the remote? Yeah, right here. Oh, hiding. I wonder if we're going to have to put the jib out for this. Maybe. Uh, probably not. We'll reach. Leave one loose, just just have the nut on like a couple threads on the back, just in case, just so nothing f***s off too much. There we go. What do we got left on the engine? Uh, engine? Yeah. Mounts? Just that's it. Mounts. Mounts and we're good. Sweet. All right. Take the big mounts off then. Take the big mounts off, take the shroud off, take the fan out, take the hoses off. We'll just leave all that kind of stuff that's going to get swapped onto the new engine. Leave all of that here, okay? You know what you're doing with this, eh? You can handle the rest of that. Okay, that fan's really f***ing heavy, so... Just watch that it doesn't fall into the cooler when you're trying to get it out of there. So, daddy likey. Yeah, this is slick. It's nice working on these. <laughs> so nice. Like, it's not buried inside of the counterweight, oh, yeah, nothing yeah. like that. Oh, it just... It's like when I'm working on, like, forestry stuff, everything's, like... Hood's open right up and it's all like a plate for you, you know? Just makes makes the job easier. Alright. Ready? Ready? That's probably good right there. You can drop her right in the middle. You like doing this stuff? Yeah, it's the fun. Well, I'll learn how to do it. I'll send you on this stuff because I'm 
done doing this. Why? Wow, it's fun. I actually do like this. It's no no cables together. left over, nothing we're no, getting stuck on. Good. And we good. All right. You want to hop down now? Yeah, just spot and steer me. Swang her over. Oh yeah, let's drain that engine oil right now. Yeah, well it's, it's hanging over the deck here. Oh sure, man, if you want to vacuum it, perfect. And that's how you do an engine oil service on your Cat C7. I'm really happy. An awesome morning. We're getting after it. I'm just drilling it. I'm pop a couple of holes in there. That should be enough. We'll try that. You know, slide hammer. We put a little screw in the end of it. And we screw it in. And we slowly work it out. And And that's how we remove seals. Seals, or, or, or. Wanna have me up the, uh, the green Loctite and some Luber plate. Luber plate, green Loctite. Ready for our seal. I don't have a fancy install tool for this one, so uh, we'll just do the old tippy tap. So I put a little bit of this schmeg on. It's a retaining compound, retaining mount. So we don't really need it for this because it's, it's like a crushed fit, um, but it more just helps seal. So they do put this red coating on there. For me, it's just doubling down on the sealing part for the, the part that's not gonna spin, right? Like, so this red coating is supposed to kind of help seal. It's gonna take up any gaps in the housing and the seal body. So and now a little bit of schmeg to make sure she goes on nicely and uh, that's it and then just guide her in and it looks pretty well landed Make sure it's even all the way around. You can feel when she's landed in there and seated because it'll bounce a little more than than it would if it were still driving itself in. Does that make sense? But you ask, Cam, how do seals drive when they don't have hands and feet? That's a that's a question for a zoologist. I'm just a mechanic, so. I only know how to drill them. All right, happy? That's in there. Swing towards me. Swing towards me a bit so you're not dragging it. Just there. Okay. That's it, that's how you, that's how you pull it. And that's how we pull out. Been pulling, been pulling engines for years, been pulling out for years, man. Pull out game strong. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's it. It's out, doesn't take long. Um, you're a wild man. I am wild. Kicks it just. <laughs> now we just wait for the replacement to come in. So hopefully it'll be here soon. Uh, we'll get them side by each, swap any accessories, that kind of stuff over. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Bye for now.
Hey, Daddy, are we working hard today? 